Hi, my name is Ernie Kleiman, and in this section, we're going to talk about templates, molds, and side benders. These are all critical elements in creating a good ukulele that will last for many years to come, and you will get a lot of enjoyment out of it. The first step is cutting out a template from your original plans. I suggest you go to Kinko or some other photocopy service, copy the plan onto a scrap piece of paper and then glue or paste it on a piece of eighth of an inch plywood or particle board or some other stiff hard material that you plan to use as a template. It could be a half template or a full template as shown over here. And you might want to mark out your lines on the template for your sound hole, your bracing, and your bridge and the distance from the edge of the top of the template to the center of the sound hole to mark out the hole for your tenor ukulele. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the mold, which is also a critical piece of creating a tenor ukulele because if you have an inaccurate mold that's done improperly, your tenor is not going to turn out exactly the way you want it to. So critical layout is very important. You take your half template of your tenor ukulele, or full-size template, and in this sample over here, I've used basically MDF, leftover MDF, from the Home Depot store, or Lowy's, or wherever you get your hardwood. You can also use a good quality plywood. The flatter the material, the easier it is to work with. I would recommend either MDF or Baltic birch plywood in three quarter inch sizes so you can stack it up. Typically, I will make the mold two thirds of the, of the sides, two thirds the thickness of the sides of the ukulele. In this case, we're looking at about two and a quarter of an inch for about a three inch side. And as you can see, this one over here that's constructed over here, I try to do it as accurately as I possibly could, stack laminate them, and then using a router, using a pattern bit to cut each one in succession. So basically on this piece over here, I've got three outlines of the tenor ukulele all stacked glued together using tight bond glue, which I recommend, either tight bond one or tight bond two. Another important critical factor is to make sure the insides are nice and smooth. You don't want any gaps, chips, dents, or anything impeding putting in the sides because the sides are going to be conforming to the, to the shape of your mold. I'd also highly recommend varnishing the insides of the mold so that none of the, none of the excluding glue, the glue that comes out from putting in the blocks or the liners winds up in the mold. This way you could just easily wipe it off with a coat of polyurethane varnish or water-based polyurethane varnish. As well to this little jig, I've added two little blocks and this would be about the last step. There are spruce or pine blocks basically with a drilled hole and a carriage bolt and a wing nut on the end and I've cut out, basically pulled the two half pieces of the jig together so I can open and close them whenever I need to. This comes apart so that when I'm ready to take the instrument out of the mold, when I've completed it, I can disassemble the ukulele and pull it out of the mold. So you might want to also put in a block with a carriage bolt on one end and you can have a, 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 another piece of 2x4 or whatever you got glued onto the top to remain there or you can also have it disassembled with a carriage bolt on the top. The next step after that is to take the half template or template that you've used in your original drawing and create what I call a side bender. This one, this side bender over here, is just made out of laminated particle board that has been screwed together. And typically I will bend my sides with a watt low heater, which heats up very, very quickly. So you have to be very careful. When you're putting this, the, uh, the side bender of particle board together, you have to, when you're laminating the pieces together, I strongly recommend 
a strong water-based glue, and also using inch and a quarter screws, uh, screw it to each other as you go along. In this section over here, the side bender is six, six inches wide, so that I can bend two pieces of tenor ukulele sides at once. And it's all held together with this watt low heater, which works really, really well. I strongly recommend that you use a, a timer so you don't burn your house down, a timer, and a, 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 I used here a, a, a lamp, a resistor here, sort of acts like a resistor to regulate the amount of heat. I usually keep the heat on the watt low for tenor ukuleles on very low heat because the, the watt low heats up very, very quickly and it's very easy to scorch or burn your wood while you're trying to bend it. Another little handy item is to make a call for your watt low heater. You put the watt low heater down against the sides and start, I usually start at the bottom and will work my way back to the front. So what I will typically do is I will use a block of wood as a call with a spring clamp, lock down the sides, then come, then start slowly pushing it down, then I'll come up to the waist and I have a call made out of scrap piece of wood that's fitted to the outside dimension of the curve of the sides. And then I'll clamp that down. With, a, with an inexpensive clamp purchased from Harbor Freight or wherever you find them. Next step after that is I start slowly pushing down the last part of the sides using a spring clamp and another call. I just use a scrap piece of spruce and I'll clamp it down and typically I'll wait five minutes to see how it's doing. You have to be very, very careful here because you don't want the sides to burn. Otherwise, you'll be spending a lot of time sanding, cleaning up, and, and, and making sure that there's no charred wood before you put it into your mold. And that ends the mold, template, and side bending jig. Thank you.